Well, hi there, folks. This is your host, ID Jester. Thanks for checking out my video. Once again, Commander the Great War. And we're going to continue our series here. We're on turn 11. And fortunately, uh, just to give you guys a heads up, we've had a few days in between episodes because um, what I normally do is save the episode, um, you know, save the game in between episodes. When I went to save the last game, it like freaked out the system and completely, um, I, I don't know the best way to describe it, but it would never save the game. And then when I tried to load it up, it kept giving me an error message, uninstalled it, reinstalled it, it was still getting the same error message. Uh, basically, it corrupted a bunch of my files in my save directory, but fortunately, very fortunately for us, it did not corrupt the um, turn 11 file. So we should be able to just pick up where we left off. I've been kind of looking around to see if there's any differences between what had happened last time in the last episode and where we are now. So if there are any slight differences, um, that is the reason. So we were actually in turn 11 and we were doing some maneuvering and such. But um, then I remembered we weren't actually going to play. Hmm. Hmm. Could get an attack off there, huh? Repair button. Yes, we know. So we'll probably see a lot of these tutorial messages again. Because it thinks, oh, you just started playing. But no, we've been playing for a while. <clears throat> we just uh, had a glitch in the system. So if we do repair, let's go and repair our planes and these guys and these guys and these guys here with our leader and these British units and some cav units and what the heck, let's do that won't. Um, I'd like to take this attack. Make them take some losses there. Oh, that was a horrible attack. A zero for them and two for us. That did not work out as well. So, we were able to isolate a couple German units up here. If you haven't watched the previous episode. And uh, kind of cut them off from their supplies. And then they were easy pickings. So, that was very good maneuver on our part. Uh, you... Put you on the ship. There we go. You. You are an infantry unit. Again, I don't know. Let's just move this guy out. Yeah, okay. So he sailed over. We just need to get him off the ship. All right. Where else are we going here? So that's pretty much the northern flank. The west front. Uh, let's see. We were... In the process of bringing some units. This guy's headed back. Uh, we're trying to escort some of these transport ships. And we had another one transporting up here, right? Is that what this is? A convoy, yeah, convoy. So let's just search around and make sure there's no German ships there. Hopefully our convoy will make it to port. All right, so we have, uh, that's pretty good. Let's check out down what's going down down here. We would ask, actually take a step loss if we attack that. Really? Let's see here. Or I'm sorry, they would take a step loss, right? Yes, okay. Sorry, I was playing a uh, uh, game earlier. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I don't think we can actually... Yeah, we can't repair ships. I believe they have to be in port. So... Ooh, hi. Goodness gracious. Uh, let's hit his artillery over there. Do some more damage to these guys there if we can. We are... 
All right, let's, oh, my goodness gracious. We don't have any, yeah, we don't have any points. Ah. Our flanks are falling apart here a little bit. Hmm. I don't know how much longer Serbia can hold. Let's just go watch the guy. Just don't have the strength here anymore. And when are we getting units? Oh, we got a couple of units ready. A British artillery and a Russian infantry. A couple more turns. France. Okay. Alright. Not a lot we can do for Serbia down here. Belgium actually has 10 points. Um, sure, let's take a shot at that guy. Might as well. Yeah, I don't know what we can do for you guys. Taking a beating here. All these German units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 German units came down to help them. Um, we could move this guy here but uh, he's just gonna get attacked anyways they're gonna attack our artillery units we got some weak units on the front line there no 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 go away go 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 away hmm mm 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 do a two to one damage there. Um, yeah, I'm going to get that. So we call that attack up. Hmm. That really great option there. One to one, one to one, one to three, one to two. Ouch. And they did zero, or they took zero and we took two. So that was... All right, that wasn't very good. Now, we did isolate the Germans over here. So they should be easy pickings. Actually, let's look at repairing some units here. So this, get that guy while we, before we start spending lots of points. And this guy, this guy, this guy, that guy. Guy with our hero and this guy. How many points does that leave us? Only 12 production points. Shoot. All right, so rush to 12. We're not gonna. We're gonna save these. Great Britain 45. To get another, it's 50. So maybe we'll save our points and try to get another. Um. Here craft technology or something so we'll save the British points Belgium is 10 Belgium is actually done really really well they have uh, quite a few units one two three four units it's never Brussels never fail and they have 10 points we can hold on to these points and see if we can get up to 20 so we can get a full infantry squad we could get just Spend her 10 units and get a, um, a garrison squad, but I'd rather not. France. France has some points. Let's get another infantry started. Uh, artillery is 40. Cavalry is 20. Infantry is 20. Could get another plane. Hmm. Now, I think infantry, purchase that. Plus, it'll leave us 10 points in case we need to. I think we repaired everybody, though. Yeah, okay. All right.
right, you guys already went. I'm hoping not to get these guys cut off. We can move these guys up here, but then I'm afraid to both get encircled. Hmm, I think we'll just risk it. I was hoping to get in here and start hitting his planes hard, but... All right, um, let's see. So we're done there. Let's look at our Russian groups here. Artillery. We've got a pretty big force coming in this way, don't we? These planes just don't do a lot of damage, do they? Do we have some units come? Oh, yes, and we have Turkey that joined the war down here. <sighs> oh my, look at that, that's a two to one, let's take that, and we should probably bring our unit in, right there, try to secure our southern flank here. We don't need Turkey getting involved. Um, you know what that means, though? We can start bringing our ships over here. See if we can do some damage to their ground forces if they're along the coast there. Oh, Serbia, Serbia, Serbia. We were doing so good. What happened to you, buddy? All right, let's focus in on Russia. So, seven and one, we'll take that. Six and zero, and even better. Five and one, we'll take that. Excellent. Excellent. Um... I'm going to bring this guy down here, I think. This way he threatens both of these positions. Zhu, you have not moved yet. Okay. Alright. Limburg. We're after Limburg here. Oh, look at that. We didn't even have... This might be the final blow. It is the final blow. We have taken Limburg. We have liberated it from the invaders. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Cavalry. Cavalry. Hmm. Do some damage there. Cavalry unit can't quite make it all the way over there. This one. Five and one? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Ugh. Too bad we don't have one more unit to move over there. We could take over Breslau. That would be awesome. I'd like to keep my cavalry away from these guys there. Let's bring the cavalry down here. Ugh. Still not very good. Maybe with our pushing on them. Um, oh gosh, that's terrible. That's terrible. 10 and 10. And we have some units. See if we can do any damage here. Good lord. Nothing, my man. Nothing. Oh, there's one point of damage we can do. Let's try. Oh, two points. All right, we'll take that. We're never going to break through this. It's going to take a long time. Uh, production, yes, British. We do have to deploy our British units. Let's put it in there. It still takes a turn to bring it on, a turn to put it here, a turn to get across, a turn to get it there. So it's like four or five turns before they even make it over to the front. 
Uh, but in the meantime, hopefully, yeah, we're getting plenty of ammunition for the British units there. And hopefully, just scouting the area and making sure no German ships. Is this area still blocked off by Norway? It is. Urgh. Can't attack them. Can't get rid of them. Can't do anything. Can't get over here to help our Russian allies. All right, I think that is finally the end of turn 11. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, guess what, boys? Got to remember where that was. Okay, attacked. We did four damage to us. This is going to get ugly right here. Oh, please hold on, Serbia. Come on. Oh, seven damage. Come on. Open, he would have to rail a bunch of them away. Really? Come on. Please do it's major damage. Jeez. Here comes another convoy. Oh, he made it into port. Let's see. Can he make it all the way? Is the question. Uh, air raids. Aerial bombardment has caused widespread panic in the city. In addition to the material damage, the resulting panic has an additional impact on morale and production. Da, 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 da. Technology development. So Belgium has barbed wire. Russia gets barbed wire. We got some units completed. Several units, which is all good. All right, looks good. Uh, we have a British unit now. Sir Frederick Stanley Maudet is a cautious and consistent rather than spectacular commander with a stable yet careful character. Uh, we will deploy him right there. Uh, to, to successful fighter pilot, uh, Paul René Fudnick is a successful fighter pilot, but modest was not one of his virtues. While he is known to be an accomplished pilot, he is exceptionally a brilliant shooter. Well, ooh, I don't think... Um, wait a minute, was that? Uh, that is, oh, that's French. Okay, so we do have a unit we can assign him to. This one right there. Okay. Good, 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 good. Well, before we do anything and I forget, I'm going to go to Great Britain because they have the points. And we're going to buy. We had put an extra one in artillery. <sighs> Naval, air, infantry. I think we're going to put it into infantry. We've got to get some better units out. Could We could just crank up our artillery. <clears throat> Naval, seam plane tender, anti torpedo, and extra external t torpedo storage. Armored aircraft, rack bomb, unlocks bomber unit, and rigid airship. Strategic attack plus 10, base defense plus 1, high defense plus 2. Now, I think we're going to put it into infantry. And see how that goes. Okay. All right. So I didn't want to forget about that. Now you get ashore. Thank you. You move over there. But they did some major damage to us. But uh, they might have screwed up again and overextended themselves. 
because now we've got this unit isolated. We don't necessarily have to attack it this turn, as long as we can fill in the gaps. Um, that should cause him some issues. I'll bring this unit around there. I bring our Belgian unit up. Ugh. Is he just attacking it right now? Or just we're just getting murdered, but um oops, go away. As long as we can isolate it and keep it so that it can't resupply them. So what we need to do is put a good unit there that won't retreat. I uh, can't make him over there. <sighs> we can move our cavalry up there. I was hoping not to have to do that. Um... I'll move this guy up there, and then move this guy there, and I'll move this guy up here like that. So he's still surrounded. He won't be going anywhere. If he tries to fight his way out, that wouldn't be very good for him. Repair mode, we do want to repair that guy. Put a few on that, put a few on that, a few more there, a few more there, a few more there. Mm. My goodness. We can actually use our blimp to attack air units, really? Hmm. I thought they were just for the vision, the line of sight. Could move it there and maybe get a little bit more vision. I don't want it shot down, that would be bad. So at this point I'm not willing to risk it. We just brought it in. All right, so who do we have? We have a French unit ready to come on. So we'll bring it into the fold right there. Excellent. We have a Belgian unit. Oh, look at that. Sweet. That's a full infantry Belgian unit. We have how many Belgian units? We have one, two, three, four. Oh, we got our um, English unit there. British, sorry. English, I speak well. All right, uh, I guess you can go back in that town just to secure it, just in case. You, uh, why can't we put that in there? I forget. What's, hmm. We didn't just bring this on this time, correct? Or did we just bring it in? We know because it's not grayed out, and it can move. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe there's something that I don't realize. What is this? It's our infantry. Well, wait a minute. It shows infantry, but we just dropped off the infantry. Okay, whatever. We'll take an extra infantry unit. All right, this place would be awesome to take, by the way. We can't attack with these guys. We can attack with this guy or this guy. We can move him up and attack this guy or this guy, but then he can get cut off just like we did to this German unit up here. 1-1, one, one. hmm, we'll take that. Of course we would take more damage than they would. Of course, why not? Alright, so pretty much this guy is a mood, but he's in Brussels. We'll just leave him there. Actually, can, yeah, you can't switch. We should leave the garrison in there and use our full infantry squad. You can go back into Antwerp. That's fine. All right, so that's pretty much the... Uh, we do have this, but still, uh, a little bit of damage here. All right, we'll do more damage. 
Not that we can do much about it. It's kind of a stalemate here on the Western Front. All right, let's look at our... This guy... Some more damage to that guy... That's fine. All right, more importantly, I saw this right here. It's a light cruiser. This is a merchant convoy. Central Bowers ports blockaded. The Entente is intercepted merchant ships heading for Central Power ports and established a blockade. The convoy routes remain blockaded until the Entente dominance of the high seas is broken. Never, never, never shall we surrender. We shall sink you. We shall make you wish. Oh, there it is. Boom. Goodbye, supplies. Hey, hello. You're... I'm about ready to go to war to these people just to move their damn ships out of the way. All right. Again, they did some major damage over here on the east front, too. Jeez, wowzy. All right, we've got to repair some of these units up. Repair this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Um, if they're in 8, 9, or 10, I'm not going to repair them because we want to push. We want to push forward and take these location. These are two resource points. We are not. We are now de denying them the resource points they were getting there. But if we can take Kharkov, Kharkov, Kar, okay, we're ugh, speaking hard. Kharkov, uh, that's nine. That would be a huge boon to us. So we're going to try and take these area and push over there. So here we go. First things first, let's bring up our leader. Blink. One, one. This is just a silly garrison unit. <sighs> really? Let's swing around to his flank here. Oh, two. My goodness gracious. What the hell is this? It's a small garrison unit with three defense. Take zero and we took two. Come on. It's crazy. Mm. The German units have arrived back on the frontier. That's a damn shame. Oh, look at these units. It's crazy. We take more damage than we give. That is for sure. Um, we could move in there and separate this guy then. Um, he's still in supply, I believe, because... Well, we're going to find out. We're going to do it. I will bring this guy around to... I'm going to bring this guy back in there. All right, we should have some units here, yes? All right, so we have a British plane. Bring them in there. British unit. Bring them in there. Another British unit. No, yes, another British unit. We cannot bring him in anywhere. What? You, sorry. I clicked on the wrong one. I forgot they slide over, so I'm like, wait a minute, what happened to my British unit? Uh, we'll put them in this port down there. We have a Russian unit. Finally, another Russian unit. Yay! Should we bring them to our southern flank down here? Push back on Turkey. I think we shall. We forgot about Turkey, I think, last turn, did we? Oh my gosh. How is Turkey better than us? 
Look at that. One, two. We did one, three. And a zero, two. So that was horrible attacks. Ugh. Seriously. Let's see. Can you come down here? You come over here. See if anybody's there. Nope. Ugh. It is November 26, 1914. Uh, so, you've already attacked? Yes. Okay, you've all attacked. Looks good. I think we're about done with this turn. Just trying to make sure we didn't miss anything. We sunk that run... Um, German convoy, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh yes, we're bringing this French ship, hopefully all the way back to one of our ports here. Actually, I'm kind of stupid. There's a port right there. There's, I'm an idiot. I was thinking it was British. It's not British, it's French. I could have put it right there and repaired it. Ah. <sighs> And yeah, we're in big trouble down here. Um, big, 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 big trouble. We're going to fall back. So they can't try to encircle us there. Uh, we have three production points. So, well, first of all, can... Um, we don't have enough ammunition, so no sense in repairing that unit. Let's repair these two. We can't... One, three. There's a one, one. And a one, one. Do it over there. To, uh, just trying to fight them off. These four guys. Mm. <sighs> production. So, production. Ultra important here. We got no Serbian points to buy anything. France. France, Viva la France. We're going to buy another infantry unit. Purchase that. Belgium's up to 11 points. We're going to hold on to them. Great Britain has 14. Not enough for anything. Russia is 23. We're going to build another infantry for them as well. So we got some more units coming. You can see here, two, four, six, seven more squads of people coming. We got better research started. And it's only 1914, so I mean, the war that went till 1918, I think we're way, way ahead of where we were historically. All right, here we are, and wish us luck. Uh-oh. That looks like it just turned to winter. That's interesting. Oh, you withdrawn little bastards. These planes are starting to just dominate there on the west front. is as soon as Serbia falls then all these units are going to be able to go back over to the east and west front and that's just going to make life miserable for the Russians and the French. Four attack. French and 
British convoys. Come on up, convoys. The winter season has begun. No development, and we got a couple units. So. So you have four production points. You know, if we could get rid of this guy and make him run, we could cut these guys off, but I don't see that happening, boys. I just don't see that happening. He's just got, I mean, he's got way too many units down here. So we have to, we have to take advantage of that situation. So we have a British and a French. Okay. Units ready. All right, so they weren't able to break through back, which is good. So we should be able to whittle them down pretty easily. Ah, uh, that was a bad attack. That is not what I wanted to do. Well. Okay, why is he... That's crazy. All right, I'll just let him freeze to death over there if he wants to be an asshole. Switch these two units now. We'll bring our full... All right, while well, I'm thinking about it, you... You move up... Um... Oh, I want to eat now. Let's just. Alright, well, we've got another infantry squad over. You. See, now he can get on the little thing there. Uh, maybe they only have so many convoy points or something. Transport capacity. Yeah. So they can only transport so many at a time. So it doesn't matter, I guess, how many you produce. Plane though, hello, no, 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 go away. I want the plane. The plane can come over. Hello, no, I want the plane. Come over, thank you. Zero, 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 zero. zero. Well, let's shoot down one of his points. Oh, two points, excellent. We'll take that. Mm-hmm. I guess attacking in winter is bad for the attacker, huh? But the German just did it when it turned to winter, and he did pretty damn good. Hey, vey. Hmm. Mm mm mm. All right, you. Really? move you. What are you? You are... Get the hell out of there. Time to go. Time to go home. Mm, zero? Yeah, it's like really bad to attack in the winter time. He's reinforced this guy back up to full... <coughs> Bless it. <sighs> Take two points on him. Two points on him. Well, one point on him. <sighs> All right. Let's look at our repair. Get a few units repaired here. this guy any easier to take? Hell no, of course not. Can't even damn damage him. Um, we actually have enough points to do no damage. Great. Excellent. Hmm. We would like this line right here on this side of the river. So we'd like to 
move our units up, but pff, that would entail. Um, yeah, let's do that next to Okay. Hmm. Can't attack with you. Bring that guy down this way. I think I'm going to bring this guy up there to kind of pull the front up that way. Plane, can you do any damage to anybody anywhere? That would be so cool. Um, no. Oh, we took a shot at it. All right. You. Push. Pushing them back. Uh, you know what? One, three, one, two against the garrison unit. We're going to lose against the garrison unit. That's crazy. All right. Um, I think that's, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. We have a couple units ready. France. Viva la France. Right there. British. Mm, right there. And a couple more turns. Oh, next turn we'll get two Russian units. Uh, how's our... Oh, great, great. What? Oh, because we got that big ship come in. Aha. Uh -huh. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to put points into... Costs 55 points. Because each time you build an extra one, it costs that much more. Let's put it into planes. And another one. So we just bought a couple factories. More upkeep, but that's okay. We'll get better units sooner if we look at our units. Uh, let's see. Production, Great Britain, Belgium, France. France. Let's repair a couple units there. Um... Yeah, if you look at these Germans, they're German level twos. I think that's why we're having so much problems. We're only level one, so we have to have to get to level two quickly. France has got two labs. Industrial warfare, anti-air, concrete. So I'm not sure how to get them up to level two. But I guess we'll figure that out in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is the end of turn 13. Thanks for watching.